Yo, it's your boy TJ Willow, man. Hey, listen, uh, once again, I love y'all, boy, man. Y'all be doing y'all thing. Hey, uh, I just want to ask y'all, uh, who is y'all's most overrated wrestler? I'm not sure if y'all ever talked about this or had this topic before, but mm. I was just kind of curious. I may have missed it or whatever. But most overrated wrestler, might will be, even though he had a good run and it was a good time when he was uh, wrestling, at least in WCW, I would say Bill Goldberg. Um, Whoa. Just cause, like, really, you look at his matches, his matches like one, two minutes long for the most part. Yeah, he had a good run, but he wasn't really that great of a wrestler. So, like I said, man, I love y'all, man. Keep doing y'all thing. Mm. Yeah, sir. Uh, if he said, what's I can't our, agree. He said, "What's our most overrated?" I'm gonna go Bill Goldberg, bro. He couldn't really wrestle for real. He just came in the ring. He did like three moves. I mean, bro, he was big as hell. He did what he did: this jackhammer, spear. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, this, yeah, this that's nigga, really what you waiting on. Rikishi was, was overrated. Rikishi. I don't know. Rikishi was doing some shit for his Rikishi weight, just... and he from Pensacola. Shout him out. He had a good gimmick. Woo, woo, woo. One time for my beat, I ain't know from Pensacola. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, he, me? he just showed his ass? That's he it. at least lived in He just showed his ass, bro. Yeah, bro. He wasn't fire, bro. Like, wasn't he just like, throw you in the corner. He put throw his you ass in the corner. In the face. Put, yeah, yeah. I forget what that shit was called. Stink face. Yeah, the stink face. Um, that shit was overrated. <laughs> nah, I'm going mean, to tell, tell you one person I don't like. Who? Hmm. I ain't really like Rian Regal. William Regal? William Regal, re- William Regal was decent. I can respect that, he's but I feel the, like in the, he's not in the overrated box. But I just didn't like him. I feel like William Regal played his role perfectly. Yeah. Now that I'm older, I agree. Into the yeah, as, like, as a kid, though, I, I just didn't like him. I can yeah. respect that 100. percent Like he did what he needed to do. It's an actor. Damn, I can't even think of him off the top of my head. But it's an actor like that. Matter of fact, um, he's playing in Fortnite on Amazon Prime. Uh, the nigga's a ghoul. Uh, he was bruh that wanted to cut the testicles in um, the Django. Oh. The Django. The Django. Um, um, but the, the white guy. Anyway, you hate these people, and then it's like, damn, mm-hmm. you played your role so well. So good. You know what I mean? Maybe not like, like it. Yeah, that Fast. nah, I fuck with you heavy, like, but yeah, I feel but uh, yeah, William yeah, Regal. Yeah. Also, them. like sometimes niggas don't like the Mac technician dude, the dude that be doing all the extra like moves and arm bars and shit. That shit kind of boring. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. real facts. Y'all real. seen uh, Mr. McMahon document? Yeah, yeah, I seen that. I ain't, I ain't tapped in it yet. It's should, pretty hard to me. Yeah, I liked it. My only issue with the Vince McMahon documentary, I ain't really learned much. You like learn like his shit here and there. But yeah. it, was like, it was like if you tapped in heavy with wrestling, like you ain't really learned much. Facts. I agree. It to be honest, as a fan, it was just something to watch. Yeah. And I think the stuff that I did learn, it was probably more so past a certain point after I had to start watching. Mm. Okay, I, I I heard of you, but I didn't know about this because I ha- I wasn't watching at that particular time. Yeah, so right. like maybe like CM Punk era, yeah, on down. Yeah. I wasn't really watching. You know what I'm saying? Or if it was something like prehistoric before mm-hmm. I was born, they may have had like a little fact in there I really didn't know about. Like I didn't know Andre the Giant and the whole Hogan had fought like a gang of times. I thought it yeah. was only like two or three times. Yeah, they were spamming it. Only thing I learned from that shit. And it also it gave some confirmation. Cause everybody was like saying, because like it was always like some like uh, like rumors. Like Vince McMahon wanted to do like a program with Stephanie McMahon, where it's like he was like the father of her baby, and it was like never confirmed, but it got confirmed on the dock. Uh, I ain't know Shane McMahon was trying to buy the UFC, and, I ain't Vin, know that and Vince either. told him fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, I ain't know that either. Yeah, he told him it's like some shit. They was at the dinner table. He said, "Yeah, for you to get the money, you gotta kill me right now or some shit like that." And he and that's why he like went away from wrestling. Like he don't even do wrestling no more. He just like right. went to make they, his own. They, bread. They, they did say that, but they never said why though. Yeah. 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 And, and they always said. alluded that like Vince don't fuck with Shane like that. And the documentary, they were like, Yeah, he don't really fuck with his son like that. Yeah. yeah. You, if you like you said though, if you tied in wrestling, you could kind you kinda got that feel. But he showed that. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say he showed <clears throat> that's one thing that I can say like even watching wrestling, I felt l- like that early on. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like one of them things where, like, everybody watch it, even if it's not, like, wrestling. Like, you got, like, an uh, inkling that that shit happening, but, like, you need that documentary to, like, affirm it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, this way, this how shit goes, yeah. Right. Um, 
Damn, I had something great I wanted to add. No, it, <laughs> it, it, it well, I was, me. I was talking about Rakishi. I just randomly thought about it. Was one time it was Rakishi was about to have a match with uh, Booker T. And that nigga Rikishi was like in a bathroom, like taking a doo doo. All right, that's, that's insane. That's insane. I'm and not that co-signing. Nigga, yeah, that, that, nigga, shit, like, that nigga Booker right. T. That nigga Booker T went in the bathroom. He was like, "What is that smell? <laughs> like, what you doing?" And like that nigga Rikishi just walked out here and wiped his ass. And they was and that nigga like I forgot who that was that came with the Booker T. He was like, "You know, you got a match with him tonight." <laughs> he was like, "No, I don't." He was like, "Yeah, you got a match right now with, with That's Rikishi." That's crazy. And bro gave him the stink face, and that nigga Booker T threw up. I just remember that. <laughs> <shit. laughs> bro, is, is he writing them storylines, bro? Yeah, he's bro. It's diabolical. It is, bro. Dog. I don't want to say you got to be sick to do it, but like... Oh, no, 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 You kind of got to be right to, to even think that I'm going to create a show to where I'm my daughter's baby father, you got to be insane. That you got to be... You got to be disgusting. That's why when them allegations came, you can't be shocked. You're like, damn, right. it was the nigga. I mean, he showed you know, it right here. That's show. why right, that nigga right, was trying right, to right. buy the shit before it. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, nigga, like three months of the show. Guilty, nigga. You, you had a shit called Kiss My Ass Club. Yeah. We had women like getting down, kissing mm-hmm. his ass. Like, come I on, brother. About it. I the signs that. was yeah, there, I bro. I remember that. that. Yeah. He was a sicko, my nigga. I remember that. He was showing in the planes like, one more overrated wrestler, Edge. Hold on, let Edge, me. Edge overrated like a motherfucker. Both of them boys. I feel overrated. like, hold on. I feel like Edge had a a respectable spot. Man, that boy ass, bro. I feel like he had Both a respectable spot for a long time. Yeah. It, a, a lot of people was huge Edge fan. Like that nigga had a few moves. I'll give you that. Keep he doing. wasn't he wasn't a great wrestler, but I feel like he had a respectable spot as far as viewership. And then yeah, it it, it increased. Man, I'm not listening to what you're saying, bro. That boy ass, man. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you who I thought. Like I ain't been tapping into wrestling for real, for real, for years. So some of the newer people, I'm not as uh, familiar with. But for the longest, I thought John Cena was. I knew he was gonna say that, bro. I thought he was. I knew he was gonna say that though. Over um, <coughs> overrated. Nah, John overrated. Cena. John Cena the goat. John Cena is that. Like <clears throat> I gotta tip my hat and tip it, tip that bit again. You know what I'm saying? John Cena is oh, uh, like he is everything that. I don't know how I knew he was gonna say that though, but I knew he was gonna say that because. I assume we probably watch around the same era. Mm-hmm. And awesome. Around that time, yeah. the it way was, that it they was. gravitated towards him, like they put him in such a position early on, early in his career. I think that's what kind of got me out of wrestling. Was I'm starting to see like, okay, some of these people are gifted this position. Yeah. They don't earn, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, you're right. not earning these championships mm-hmm. in the way we thinking, you know what I mean? Right. But I also wasn't familiar with, okay, let me watch the entire storyline play out. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, John Cena was gifted just so much early on, and they were clearly trying to bite off of the rock success the the you know what i'm saying like there were so many people that you could look at and say okay well they tried that with this wrestler they tried this with that wrestler you know what i mean i just didn't like the presentation of it initially i stopped watching before he like brought it all together and really like honed in on john cena the time is now like yeah yeah. Bro, when he got it all together, I mean, that nigga took over. Hindsight is twenty twenty again. When I'm watching back, it's like, bro, this was a beautiful storyline playing out for Fact. one. Yeah. And then two, now to see the level of success. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Peacemaker, uh, the, the Suicide Squad, like having... Real acting roles, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because that's just recent. Not like that, he's yeah. had a few. Not that bullshit, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, add Hulk Hogan to overrated too. Oh, Hulk and Hogan's then, probably and the also, most. So and great. also, John Cena. The older he got, he got the better he got mm-hmm. in the ring, mm-hmm. like wrestling wise. Hey man, I'm a I'm a cap it off. One more overrated wrestler. I got Undertaker, man. Undertaker's he, he, extremely overrated. He's not that fire, bro. He he's got not. he got decent towards the end of the in the career when he had like the match with John Cena. I mean, I. He, not John Cena. Not John Cena. Um, Shawn Michaels, CM Punk, all them. I would say when even, he started wrestling, the, even Batista, he had a good one. Kurt Angle was a good wrestling match I really between like them Batista, two. Batista, bro. Yeah, yeah, Batista, all right, man. Batista, cool, man. 
Um, I respect it, but it's like I wasn't trying to. I wasn't when he went when him and Edge had that title on SmackDown. I wasn't watching that shit for real. Yeah. That shit was kind of boring. Yeah. yeah. Undertaker, Kevin Nash, like they 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 had certain yeah, them, people that yeah, them they, big slow motherfuckers. I'm yeah. not trying to watch that shit, man. Right, nigga. Undertaker wrestling. I was a big ass nigga. Uh, I used to fuck with Kevin Nash. Gonzalez. I don't watch watch that shit, man. But it was right. one of those things to where it's like, yo, I'm I'm fucking with you because I'm waiting to see the rest of NWO. I'm, right, <laughs> I'm waiting to see like what you just got motherfucking X. What you do? Do a big boot and a yeah. jackknife power bomb? Yep, th- them was his. Well, yeah, yeah, that power bomb was fucking ridiculous. Though, it was. Nigga. Like you I'm were, raising you 13 feet in the mm, air, nigga. <laughs> you remember he did that shit on um, Big Show, bro. I thought he was about to kill him. So bro, like, bro, you don't need to be power bombing that big ass nigga, man. They used to do some shit. I was like, these niggas finna die. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I man, I'm still looking for the footage, man. I was listening to a Future song, and he said he seen um, Big Show jump off the top rope. I think Future was just lying, bro. I ain't never seen that shit. I got. I think he might have did though. I don't know. Big show jumping. He said, I think he said, bro, did a moonsault, bro. I don't know. I don't know nah. about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you the craziest one that I seen, like, jumping was uh, Mankind jumping through the um, the cage. The cage. Yeah, oh, that's legendary. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah legendary. That's one of but quotes. that was still, never forget, like, never, ever, ever forget. Hey, recipe, Bam Bam Bigelow. That motherfucker, you be like 400 pounds doing, like, oh, moonsaults. Bam Bam. Bam Bam was probably one of the greatest wrestlers, for yeah. real. Like, y'all what y'all he was y'all doing. Y'all this one? Oh, yeah, oh Viscera was good. Paul's the Viscera. That nigga yeah. was humping niggas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Viscera, I'm going to tell you shit. If Dust. we going down that road, uh, Gold Dust was actually a yeah, good yeah. wrestler. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Oh, I like Gold Dust, man. Gold Dust was a good wrestler, but he was a freak. That nigga was disgusting, actually. That nigga would slide in, lick the ring. I'd be like, Ugh. <laughs> they should have put that shit in the Vince McMahon documentary. It's a, it's a rumor that that nigga Gold Dust. Uh, went to Vince McMahon and he was like too into the character and he told Vince McMahon he was going he wanted to get like a boob job to put the character over and Vince McMahon said man get the fuck out my nah, office that's bro. crazy that's he, wild and you know I you definitely would have had to tell a, Gold Dust chill out you know like, you gotta be a freaky nigga though they they Trent, yeah, and, yeah Trent Vince yeah, yeah. yeah that's like out freaking Diddy yeah <laughs> <laughs> 